always asked me, one of, as a matter of fact, one of the first questions that Elder Kabir asked me was, is how many times you read the Bible? The whole Bible, I said, not once. <laughs> you know, some people would get started Genesis and read the whole Bible. Elder Kabir, how many times you read the Bible? I think he said three or four times. And I've never have ever read the whole entire Bible. There are probably many, many passages in the scriptures that I've never even read before in my life. Somebody said, what? Yep, there are probably many, many passages in the scriptures that I've never even read before in my life. Somebody said, what? Yep. All right, Shalom. This is Harwan Banyasha Allah of the Lions Den Camp, located right here in Jacksonville, Florida. Before I begin, I want to say, Ka Halayim, La Yahawah, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Haraka Kwadash, Mahamath. Double honor to the elder apostles of GMS and the elders. Shalom to you, Akim, Nagwatim, and children that believe in sincerity and truth around the four corners of the earth. Yo, um, <clears throat> this is an um, expose on this guy, Pastor Dow. Um, you know, a lot of people may know about him. He, he's been in debate against uh, the Israelites community, the ones that are in the know that speak of um Revelations 13 to 16 being the MOTB. Um, this guy is always in debate over the scriptures. You know, um, I think he teaches that the, the whole world could be saved, you know. But he just admitted out of his own mouth that he never, <laughs> he didn't read the scriptures, man. So, <laughs> so I don't know, you know. Um, I just want to get this precept real quick. Start off with this precept. All right, that's the best way to jump it off. This is Revelations 1 and 3. It says, Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy. All right, so blessed is he that readeth, man. And this dude said he don't want to read. He don't, <laughs> he don't read the scriptures. So he says many, many passages that he never read before, man. So he's just been winging it this whole time. All these years, man, this dude is like aged. I think he got a church. <laughs> Yo, this is, I'm gonna read it again. Revelations one and three. Blessed is he that readeth. So you're supposed to read. All right, let me get just for kicks, man. I'm gonna look this up. Revelations one and three, real quick. And this dude admitting out his own mouth he doesn't read. So. Oh, uh, Revelation 1 and 3. Where is it at? Blessed is he that readeth, man. All right. Look at the definition of the word read. It means to know again. All right. So the scriptures are set up to what? To remind us. And he doesn't, he's not wanting to be reminded. He's just winging it. To know again what but to, to bless us with knowledge, the, the knowing about Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, so this guy clearly doesn't understand the scriptures. By extension, to read, to distinguish between, so he's not able to distinguish between uh, the truth and the lies. All right, to know accurately, to acknowledge, man. So he's not able to do any of these things because he's not what? It says, blessed is he that readeth, man. So we're supposed to be reading. Eating the whole roll. All right, blessed meaning what? Fortunate, well off. A prolonged form of the poetical meaning the same. All right, so being equal, all right? And being in line with the spirit. You know? Alright, so so like you have a little disturbance in the background. Um now it says this, man, because this is what we're supposed to be doing. It says what? Ezekiel, um let's start from three and one. I'm gonna get it in lexicon. So this dude is admitting it. Ezekiel. And he still got followers. Three and one. 
Ezekiel 3 and 1, it says, Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, eat that thou findest, man. All right, so what? The scriptures. At that time, it was part of the scriptures. Eat this roll and go and seek, speak unto the house of Israel. So we're supposed to eat, meaning to what? Consume. Let me get that real quick. That's in the Old and New Testament. So you'd be debating this guy, and he didn't even look into the scriptures at all. <laughs> to devour, all right? To burn up, meaning to consume it. To eat, to devour. All right, so, um, yep, to consume. All right? <clears throat> so now, to feed with. All right, uh. That's what he told uh, Peter. He said, what? If you love me, feed my sh feed my sheep. So we're supposed to be feeding Yahweh Shai's sheep. But we got to eat to be able to feed the others as well. All right? So now um, it says here, Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, eat that thou findest. Eat this roll and go speak unto the house of Israel. So we're supposed to speak to the Israelites. All right, it says here, um, so I opened my mouth and he caused me to eat that roll. And he said unto me, son of man, cause that belly to eat. And the belly represents your mind to devour it. All right. Let your mind digest the, uh, the precepts and the understanding and fill thy bowels. Let it seep deep down into your mind and your spirit with this roll. So fill up your whole cup. <clears throat> so you got to do that by what? By reading. <laughs> it's just common sense. All right. With this roll that I give thee, then did I eat it and it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness, right? Because once you understand that you're an Israelite, it's sweet. And you understand about your Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai and how he controls the, heaven, the heavens and the earth. That's exciting. Then you, you want to go and tell everybody and it becomes bitter, you know, because you run into two thirds of people like this guy, false pastor McDowell. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> so um, he said unto me, son of man, go get thee unto the house of Israel and speak with my words unto them. So how are you going to know his words? How are you going to speak with his word, with the with Yahweh's words, if you haven't read his words? These are his words. Let's get that. This is uh, Second Ezra 15 and 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. And that's why this, this guy can't understand prophecies, man. He don't understand about the uh, the MOTB, Revelation 13 and 16. He don't understand a lot of the prophecies in the scriptures because he haven't he hasn't read it. And he, he has not heard it. He hasn't allowed his ears to hear it from the elders or from any sincere Akiyamahe that's teaching. All right, so scriptures say, Blessed is he that readeth and they that hear it. Second of the 15 and 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord, man. All right, so these are his words. And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. All right, so cause them to be written in paper. Then we read the papers, the scriptures. <laughs> he admit. He clearly said he doesn't read the, the let me play it again. The Bible. The whole Bible I said, not once. In fact, one of the first questions that Elder Kabir asked me was is how many times you read the Bible? The whole Bible I said, not once. This is uh Jeremiah twenty three and one. Woe be unto the pastors, and he calls himself Pastor McDowell. Uh, woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep, man, of my pastor, saith Yahweh. And that's what he was trying to, attempting to do. Knowingly or unknowingly is it, it is scattering the sheep, pushing them away from Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. He's pushing that name Jesus. You know, so our job is to what? Let me get that real quick. All right, uh, There you go. 
This is uh, Romans 16 and 17. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions, divisions, scattering the sheep, and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned and avoid them. So we're supposed to mark them, point them out. That means to point them out. Like we point, I'm pointing this guy out. And, you know, and br brothers and the elders been pointing this guy out for years that he's a false prophet. And what do we mean by that? That means you should follow the sincere uh, elders in the Akim, starting with the elders of GMS and the other sincere Akim that are out here teaching his truth. To follow to be led to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, to be led the correct way, instead of following these false prophets. So it has to be explained and pointed out. You know, their um, you know, falsehoods. All right. And hypocrisies. Jeremiah twenty three and one, woe be unto the false I mean to the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, saith Yahweh. Thus Therefore, thus saith Yahweh, the God of Israel, against the pastors that feed my people, yea, it, right, he calls himself taking a position of leadership over a community of Jakes, which are actually Israelites. <clears throat> yea, uh, ye have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doing, saith Yahweh. All right. So, um, now it says here, and I will gather the remnant of my flock out of all the countries whither I have driven them, and I will bring them again to their folds. This is going to happen to the elect, not to the whole world. And they shall be fruitful and increase. So the ones that have been sincere, this is for them. They're going to be fruitful in this truth. And we're going to increase. And I will set up shepherds over them which shall feed them. This is the elders, starting with um, Abba Bivens, all the way down to Elder Pastaha. All right? And they shall, in the elders of the, of the camps, and they shall fear no more, nor be dismayed, neither shall they be lacking, saith Yahweh. So, you know, we're blessed in this troop. Our cup is running over. All right? No, it says, because um, if you're going to run in this race, you got to do it correctly, according to the rules. This is Matthew 15 and 13. But he answered and said, every plant which my, my heavenly father have not planted, right? Because this dude, was, he's, 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 what's the word? He's a plant, <laughs> you know. But he's a plant of, of Satan, the adversary. All right, in these churches. Every plant which my heavenly father have not planted shall be rooted up, man. Let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. So he, he, people that follow him need to stop following him because they're being led by a blind leader right into the ditch, right into the trap of the devil. Let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the ditch, man. They're going to fall into the trap. And that trap is going to lead them to the be destroyed by the judgment of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. That's why he, this guy should repent and he should follow after the elders and the Akim and be taught. Let's get that. <clears throat> Let's get that real quick. There you go. Hebrews 5 and 12. For when for the time you ought to be teachers, so you want to be a teacher, you have need that one teach you again, which be the first principles of the oracles of Yahweh of Yahweh. So the oracles are the scriptures. So you have to be taught. And are become such as have need of milk and not of strong meat. Alright? For everyone that useth milk is unskillful in the word of your of, of righteousness. But he is a babe. So this guy is still a babe. He's just a, what you would call a novice uh, uh, that grew up in, in uh, false doctrine. All right. But strong meat, so the deep, the deep things, the, the doctrine, the understandings, the breakdowns, belongeth to them that are of full age, man. 
And that's why you have elders in, the, in this truth in the camps. Even those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. So we had to break down the doctrine, discerning both good and what's the wrong, what's the truth and what's the lies. And in your life, you know, discerning from good and evil. <clears throat> so <clears throat> this guy, like, man, he's leading. Why is the gate that leads to destruction? All right, and, and that's it, man. So let's get that real quick. Isaiah 9 and 16. For the leaders of this people caused them to err. The two-thirds, man. The leaders of the two-thirds causing them to go off, to be wicked. That's what wicked means, to err or to miss the, to miss the mark, the target, to go off. And they that are led of them are destroyed, man. All right? So they're going to be led to destruction, by a person like this and people say we bring a contention but you have to contend for the faith and the scriptures tell you to mark them that are causing divisions contrary to the doctrines which ye have learned contend for the faith alright <clears throat> that's right man because you don't want to be in this right here wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1 5 and 2 when they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear, man. People that didn't listen, that followed this guy, people like him, then then you're going to see the fear of the Most High on them. And they shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation, of the elect. So far beyond all that they look for, see? He's not looking to the scriptures for the understanding. <clears throat> he admitted that he's not reading. So where is he getting, where is he speaking from? But his own heart. His own imagination, man. So they're babbling. They shall be troubled with terrible fear. Jacob's trouble is coming. And shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. So far beyond all that they look for. So it's going to, the salvation of Yahweh by Shem Shai is going to be strange to them. Foreign. They're not going to understand it. If they haven't read or been taught. And they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves, this was he whom we had some time in derision and a proverb of reproach. And this is talking about the elect. And this guy was pointing his fingers at the Israelites and scoffing as he became a scoffer. All right. And this, and this is what he's going to say in that time. How is he numbered among the children of Yahweh and his lot is among the saints? Talking about the elect. Therefore, have we erred from the way of truth? See, he's not studying to understand the truth, the spirit of truth. The spirit of truth, you know, is um, the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, the living word. And the light of righteousness have not shined unto us, and the sun of righteousness rose not upon us. We wearied ourselves in the way of wickedness, man. That means error. And destruction. Yea, we have gone through deserts every direction except for the right way. The wide path, that's the deserts, where there lay no way. But as for the way of Yahweh Bashim Shai, we have not known it. What have pride profited us? Man, he got his guns in the background. That's prideful. Edge up. What has pride profited us? See? Or what good have riches with our vaunting brought us, man? They get money, claiming to be pastors. So where is it going to get them to? Destruction. Admit admittingly, can nobody take it away? He said it out of his own mouth. <clears throat> he don't read the scriptures. It's deep, man. So Proverbs 3 and 5, trust in Yahweh, man with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding and that's what he's doing all right in all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path we're not supposed to direct our own path we're supposed to trust use the scriptures as a light to our path be not wise in thine own eyes man being prideful fear yahweh and depart from evil you know so this is a warning to those that are following after this guy and a warning to him to repent 
and to depart from that wicked path that he's on. It shall be health to thy navel and marrow to thy bones, right? Because he's going to be able to start reading. The scriptures, the scriptures are supposed to be health to your navels and the milk and strength to your bones, you know? But he's not reading, so he's malnourished, infant baby. It's deep, man. So we're praying that, that we be led not on, unto our own understanding. Why? Because we don't want to be fools. Proverbs 28 and 26. No, 25. He that is of a proud heart stirreth up strife. And that's what they were stirring up with, with us first, man. Like, uh, when we teach the doctrine, talking about warning people about the uh, digital system that's coming and, you know, other things. We're going against the name Jesus, teaching the true name of Yahweh and his son Yahweh Shai. Then they will buck up against that. People like them. Um, Pastor Dow, this guy here. Um, Nate IUIC. Vocab Malone. What's his name? Um, he's booked right now. What's his name? Uh, Polite. All right. And then when we make videos against them, people say we, we're causing contention. Christians usually say that. All right, Proverbs 28 and, 20, uh, and uh, 25. He that is of a proud heart stirreth up strife, but he that putteth his trust in Yahweh shall be made fat. Man, you're going to increase, especially in the knowledge. He that trusteth in his own heart is a fool, but whoso walketh wisely, he shall be delivered, man. So walking wisely is the what? Let's get that. Proverbs 1. Proverbs 1 and um, 1 or 1 and 2. To know wisdom and instruction, to perceive the words of understanding. <laughs> so that's what a wise, that's walking wisely. To receive the instruction, so you got to receive it, and he's not receiving it, of wisdom, justice, and judgment, and equity. So he has none of these qualities. To give subtlety to the simp, to the simple to the young man, knowledge and discretion. And he's rejecting it because he's not reading. But check this out. A wise man will hear and will increase in learning, man. Blessed is he that readeth and blessed is and he that heareth the words of this prophecy. And the man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsels, man. To understand the proverb. How you going to understand the proverbs if he's not reading them? And the interpretation the words of the wise. See, <laughs> he's rejecting the words of the wise and the dark sayings. The fear of Yahweh is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. There you go. All right, so let's go back to this. Proverbs 28, 26. He that trusteth in his own heart is a fool, but whoso walketh wisely he shall be delivered. All right, so who are you going to trust? This guy, Pastor Dow, you're going to trust what the scriptures say. That's trusting Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right, because the Lord warns us of this <clears throat> through Peter and them. Let's get that real quick. Second uh, Peter 3 and 3. <clears throat> and knowing this first, all right, let's go to this real quick. Verse 1. Beloved, I now write unto you, in both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance. Oh, I said read, right? To know, to remember. And that's what the scriptures do. They stir up our purity, the pureness in mind, to remember the, our, our power. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And the, and the covenant that he gave to us. And that he's promising to us. And the sacrifice that Yahweh Shai did. Alright, so this is written. So how you gonna how you gonna deal with it? You gotta read it. Or you gotta hear it. That ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets. Man, you got we supposed to be mindful of the words which are spoken by the holy prophets before and written down. And of the commandments of us, the apostles of the Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Knowing this first, 
that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lust, man. And that's what this guy's been doing. Walking as his own mind, his own lust. All right? That's crazy, man. Let me get this real quick. Matter of fact, it says what? And saying, where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. For this, they willingly are ignorant. Ignoring the, the, the scriptures, not reading. Willingly, man. That by the word of Yahweh, the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water and in water, whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished. But the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. Come on, man. So we're not supposed to be ignorant of these things. All right. So let's get that real quick. Second Peter 3 and 5. Let's go there. Second Peter 3 and 5. All right. And it says here, to lie hid. Don't be ignorant to it. To be hidden. Unawares. Without knowing. Come on, man. It says reading helps you to what? To know. So don't be without reading, to without knowledge, without understanding, to know. The prophecies of Yahweh by Shemuel was shy and, and what's going on right now in the spirit. So, yeah, so this guy is a scoffer. A paid scoffer too. He getting money. That's right, man. Jeremiah 23 and uh, 16. Thus saith Yahweh of hosts of the heavenly armies, hearken not unto the words of the prophets that prophesy unto you. They make you vain. They speak a vision of their own heart and not out of the mouth of Yahweh. All right, the mouth of the prophets. They say... Um, Still unto them that despise me. To the two thirds. Yahweh have said, Ye shall have peace, man. They definitely teach you in this society. Lord love everybody. And they say unto everyone that walketh after the imagination of his own heart, No evil shall come upon you, man. All right. For who have stood in the counsel of Yahweh and have perceived and heard his word? Who have marked his word and heard it, man? Who has done that? The elect. So, it says, um, Behold, a whirlwind of Yahweh is gone forth in fury, even a grievous whirlwind, that destruction. The Lord prophesied it, spoke it. It shall fall grievously upon the head of the wicked, and that's two-thirds, and these heathens. The anger of Yahweh shall not return until he have executed, until he have performed the thoughts of his heart. In the latter days, ye shall consider it perfectly. This is what we're going to see. The Lord put fear upon two-thirds in these false prophets especially. I have not sent these prophets, yet they ran. He's running in a race, but he's not doing it correctly. I have not spoken to them, yet they prophesied. Come on, man. All right. And the Lord is speaking uh, uh, through his men and through the scriptures. The, the, you know, the ones that can understand it. They have the spirit of truth. They prophesy in a vision of his own heart. Let's get this real quick. Second Timothy 2 and 15. I'm getting a lexicon. <clears throat> 2 and 15. It says what? Study to show thyself approved, man. So study. We're supposed to be studying. All right? 
striving for masteries in the, in the scriptures. Studying to use speed, to make effort, to be prompt or earnest, to hasten, to make haste, to exert oneself. Uh, endeavor, give diligence, to make our calling and election sure. That diligence not only goes into teaching, but goes into reading, eating the role, and going to teach our people. Not just going out there winging it. We're supposed to go read and then go teach. You know, understand the breakdowns. Study to show thyself approved, man, unto Yahweh. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed. He's going to be ashamed in that day. Rightly dividing the word of truth. So we're supposed to be rightly dividing the word of truth. Diving into the scriptures, reading, you know, breaking down the scriptures. Rightly dividing it. The word of truth. So this guy said he he said he never read this. <laughs> it's crazy, man. Psycho, honestly. How can he call himself a pastor if he didn't read it? You know. So let's get this last one. False prophets. Matthew seven and fifteen. Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, man. But inwardly, they are ravening wolves, man. All right? Ravening wolves, man, getting paid. Get, you know, getting their ego uh, uplifted. Getting fame. All right? But not gaining the elect, gaining souls to Yahweh. Through his son, Yahweh Shah. So I'm going to read this again. <clears throat> Revelation 1 and 3. Blessed is he that readeth. And they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things that are written therein. For the time is at hand, man. All right, the time is at hand. The time is short. And, and people got to make their choice, man. And trust Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And trust his word. This guy clearly said he doesn't read the scriptures. So why follow him?